what should you have ready in a product to say this thing is ready to launch? So that first day, you want to go out running and go out hard. Get to the point where you would want to buy the product and then hopefully the customers agree with that. This is the Aaron Cordovez Show. Okay, good. So we're going to look at this product. I don't even know what it is. Okay. The reason I'm, I'm doing a product I don't know what it is is because it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, I guess it could matter and you can get better, but you could just use your power of observation and just look at this product and compare it to the top sellers and compare yourself. Now, what I want to talk about is really a product readiness launch checklist. Okay. What should you have ready in a product to say this thing is ready to launch? Now, a thing to consider is that there is a period called the honeymoon period. And in the honeymoon period, Amazon really tries to give you a shot. For example, a brand new TikTok account. If you make a brand new TikTok account, your first video, if you make it really compelling, has a high chance to go viral. Because the algorithm is like, let's give this thing a try. So if you see, there's a lot of people that, oh, we have to start a new TikTok account because our first, you know, 10 videos sucked and they try something new and whatever. It's a similar concept with Amazon, okay? If your product has had one sale per day or one sale every other day for three months and you update the title, update the images, update everything, your sales will not change. Like, it's going to be very, very difficult. You have to push the ads in really hard and do this. You have to undo the trend because Amazon... Uh, I have varying kind of reports from people, but it's somewhere between one week up to 30 or 60 days look back on your performance to calculate your ranking. So for you to be able to rank a product that has sucked for two months, it is an uphill battle. However, however, if your product is brand new, there is no one month history, two week history. So that first day, you want to go out running and go out hard. So when you launch your product, it shouldn't just be you have a main image, two or three other next images, no video, no A plus content. You haven't already optimized your title. You, you know, like you don't want to do that. You want to start with a bunch of things ready. This is what I would say you have to have ready. A main image that has been surveyed that's actually you believe is stronger than your top competition all on the top keywords that you're going against. That's pretty simple. Title. And then we can go, over, we went over the a title training before, but you want to review the first 10 words of your title. And it's not exactly 10, it's somewhere like eight, and eight to 12 words, something like that for your title. That's what shows up on mobile, right? Somewhere in that. And Amazon gives higher weight to those. So your title wants to have text for the customer, not just keywords to, to, to sneak to Amazon or like try to get them to rank you for it. But your title needs to have something that's going to be appealing. So let's look at here at this, this, this wax one. I'm just going to do this hard wax beads. That's literally my search term. And that's the first thing they put here. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, one pound. See, so one pound is not for a keyword specifically, probably. It's just, you know, it's a, it's, you know, it's a pound. Okay. Now who's selling here the most? You have 4,000 here by you have 5,000 bot, 1,000 bot, 8,000 bot. Look at this. Okay. Hard wax beads, Ajora, that's the brand. One pound refill wax beans for hair removal kit, Brazilian coarse waxing for bikini, okay? That one sells 8,000, that's the top, and they're not even running an ad. Now they are with 999, and these others, like the price is very different. But that title, it has the pound, it has a one pound in it, and it tells you what it's for. Right there in the front, this is again, on the mobile, it shows less, but it's for hair removal kit, okay? This one also says for hair removal kit, hacks for hair removal as well. However, this one talks about this Brazilian coarse waxing. I don't know. I guess that might be something that people care about. But you want to look at the title and actually compare. When you go to the bottom, you probably have some terrible titles. Like if you go way down here, right? Uh, wax beads for hair removal. So it doesn't say hard. Uh, oh, it's the same brand. That's hilarious. Uh, Trees Wellness Bikini Star. Hard wax beads with pre and after spray. Like you see, it's it takes a while for you to even find out what this is. And it's... It looks funny because some of it's uppercase, some of it's lowercase. Wax beads for hair removal, hard wax beads. So they're repeating it a couple times. I don't know. I'm going to just go over all the stuff and then we'll go dive into our product. So A plus content. When we look into an A plus content, you can compare some of these 
and we'll compare also something like down here, right? This person started over here. You have some of these selling at 700, uh, 500, you know, 200. Let's look at the differences, right? So this is a top seller. Now they are very cheap and it's, it's all cartoon stuff, right? Looks kind of cool. Pure natural ingredient, beauty safe natural. It's kind of cute. Now this is disgusting, but that might, that might, you know, <laughs> that's probably like what they're going for. Okay. Cause they're taking out the hair. Okay. So it's really working, right? And it's giving you social proof here. Like this A plus content here is actually pretty, pretty good. This person sells 8,000 of these. Okay. Every single month uh, or last month. Then this one, look at this, this A plus content here. Which wax do you choose? We have them all milk, rose or aloe. Like this is an, a fantastic, wow. This is an amazing A plus content right now. Uh, they're brand new, 150 reviews, and guess what? Oh, sorry, 150 reviews, a thousand purchased, right? With that price, they're double the price of this one. They were just starting, and they're already selling a thousand. That's pretty nice. Okay, this is—is is it the other one? Hundred bucks. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same brand. It's the same brand. They're just doing another one. That's crazy. So here's another thing. They're pros. Again, it's the same kind of general approach. Looks very beautiful. Clearly, these guys are trying to build a moat of protection around their brand because they have two listings now. They added this one, just add more stuff, and boom, a thousand right out the gate. Okay. Now let's compare it to like this one. Let's see. You see how it's very thin? I mean, this is actually not bad. But if you look, even this person here, okay, they're at the bottom of page one. They did sell 700 in a month. They have this, you know, A plus content here. It's there. When you go to someone who's really selling poorly, they don't they don't even have it, right? When someone's just like this person right here. This is it. Waxness, spa choice, aloe vera hard, whatever. Nothing. Their image doesn't zoom. A plus content, there's nothing there. So when you're starting a product, you don't want to start out at a disadvantage to even have a whole section that you're not using. So you need to start with that. Like period. When you start a product, it needs to have the A plus content, it needs to have a surveyed image, it needs to have a title that is comparison that actually ap appeals to the person and your secondary images should communicate something important. What people often ask me, Hey, can I sit down with you one-on-one? -on -one? Let me pick your brain, get whatever info from you on how to sell on Amazon, how to get started. Well, guess what? You can sit one-on-one -on -one with me for more than three hours on my mini course, aaroncordovascom slash start. And I will sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and give you all the info that I think you need to get started on Amazon. With Amazon ads continually increasing in price, what is going to be your competitive edge? At Samurai Seller, we've created a software that helps you take control of your Amazon ads, not just with ad tools, but tools for analytics into your business and your profitability to make sure that you're always increasing in sales and in profit. Try it for an entire month for free on me samuraiseller.com slash start and get a free month of the cutting edge samurai seller software for amazon performance uh and then it's compared to just one of the top ones okay this is the top seller one of the top sellers this one uh no irritation no allergy you know the colors are kind of cool easy to melt easy to apply so that's a good point the bead is actually to melt so it shows you hey this is how the thing is melted that's pretty good Amazing effects. Wow. Okay. I want a body like that. Da, da, da. But look, my hair was so nasty, but now it's gone. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Um, oh, look, you're going to have intimate time, right? This is called positioning, guys. Uh, I just bought a few books here uh, for the office called um, The Fall of Advertising and the Rise of PR, which talks a lot about positioning. And I recommend this because this is like, this is very good. It's going to be good for bed. It's going to be good for whatever. Like, why else? Like, you're going to wax. So you can look good. Well, generally, this is the end result, right? Like, I mean, like, anyway, the positioning, right? Like, hey, you're going to have some great time. Okay, good. And then, um, excellent refill. So if you notice, a lot of the people say refill in those titles. And they're going to say it fits there, it fits that, it fits that, it fits that. Because people are thinking about that. So these are great things to talk about. And if you compare a person who's new, has almost no sales, they're not talking about any of this stuff. Okay? So... There you go. Okay. Um, then the bullet points. Okay. Unscented and hypoallergenic. So one thing about bullet points, the first line I think has the most importance, right? And the first bullet point, like even right now, like unscented and hypoallergenic, boom, you know that. 
and maybe you're going to move on. You're not going to read anything else. You're not going to sit there and like read all the stuff, right? Ideal for professional use, for do it your house, do it uh, saves money, blah, 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 100% money back commitment. Okay. So if you look at, let's say, this person over here, look at this. Natural resin, low temperature. What does low temperature mean? Creamy texture without a leaf made in Italy. No, this is a pre melted product. You will usually receive it. Like, I'm done. I'm already like, this is over. I'm so done with this. I, I don't want to think about that. Star pill peel off hard wax beads. What? Like, I already know what the product is from the title. So these things you want to sell, these are these are bad examples. It's just you look and compare yourself with who's around here. This one is a, a, a half decent one, full body hair removal. Okay, well, what does that answer to me? If it removes hair, it really should remove it everywhere. I don't, it's not like new information, see? So use it to actually, this is a, uh, no, that's not a top seller, let's go to the top seller again. Friendly to your skin. Gradable wax beads contain 100% natural extract of rose essential oil. That's information I did not know, right? I learned something from reading this. And, okay, friendly. I'm now, I learned nothing. Like, friendly, I guess, in theory, the other ones should be friendly too, but it's at least, like, giving me the idea, ooh, it's nice and friendly in the heart, and it's making me feel like it's going to be good for me, even though it didn't give me new information. But then, the, then it backs it up, and it's saying, hey, this brand of wax beads have 100% natural extract of rose essential oil. You're like, Damn, quality ingredients. It's going to be soft and friendly. Hard wax beads are perfect for the full body, like bikini, Brazilian legs, underarms, eyebrows. Now, another point here. The other one did say full body, but you're not putting the person there and like thinking about it. Okay, full body. Okay, cool. This person puts you in the moment. Full body, like the bikini, Brazilian legs, underarms, eyebrows, and chest. Now you're thinking of using the product. Oh, yes, absolutely. I really wanted this for my chest. This obviously works for my chest. Someone's saying full body, and another person saying full body also works on your chest, also works your legs, also works your underarms. Which one is better? I mean, that, uh, I think that's pretty, that's like an obvious answer. This extra strength formula. Okay. Now you can always say extra strength. I, I don't think there's any really risk of like bad promotion because there's obviously one strength that's less. I don't know. That, it doesn't, you're not really saying anything, right? It doesn't actually mean anything, but you, it, it gives you an idea. If you do the other comparison, the other one gave a lot of like Brazilian bikini, boom. And it was like fast. And I'm talking about that. Then you move on. And the part one said, hey, this is friendly and good for your skin. And then it backed it up here. It just said, you know, formulated to do it uh, on wanted hairs. What kind of other hairs are you going to remove? Like, I don't know. It, it, yeah. Okay. And then here infused with essential oils. The other one says it's 100% essential oil. So it's just an easier sell. Okay. Get sell with bullet points again. And then you just keep going. Just read it. The point in this is reading it and look at it, right? Good. So video. Start always with a video. Like you don't this even this guy even has a video. That's pretty bad. Like if you don't start with a video, what's wrong with you? Okay. Let's see if there's any sound no hair in the sound. Really? Oh I see it. Uh, oh good, excellent. Oh okay, good. So I mean, this is really slow. You're going to feel like it's going to take you a long time to do this wax. Oh, oh what's happening? Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh. But really, that whole initial section, I would have said it could have been like, that was, that was uh, how long? That was uh, 37 seconds. You could do the whole thing in six, 10. I don't know. And then where's the action? Where's the action? No action. Okay, let's see, look at the other one. And this is a top seller now. What do they do?
Unless you want to do an opening thing for again two seconds. Cool. And then all this, maybe. I think once you get here, this is a fantastic video. Because you know it's going to work. You know, don't tell me, show me. That's the key thing that um, they think Thing. That's it's what these time to do my waxing at right? home. This but is the beads I got this videos. month. You have these and this videos, is my wax warmer. Right? I've already mentioned about. to you. Guys. There's Making something it. about this, this warm awesome. wand yeah. in your wax. Uh, yeah, that I can really get. love. And then again, Quickly. action. You check One. in. You go. Okay, let's Super see. Super satisfying, and it works. Oh, like a boom! Hey guys, just wanted to do. So there's multiple of these. On this, this is a joke. This is a joke. So again, starting. There always should be a video and it should be showing. Wow. Wow, look at that one. G Girl Earl again, though. I don't want to I don't want to see it. Sorry, guys. Thank you. <laughs> but it's working. 150 reviews and they're selling a thousand. Okay, this is a this is a twenty thousand dollar a month listing. 150 reviews and it's because of the nipple. Okay, so reviews. Okay, now for the reviews you do have Vine and I highly recommend to use Vine because the reviews are obviously key. You want to get Vine going as as soon as possible and if you can do, there's again tricks to like maybe you do a Vine and then you merge it or do other stuff. But like you're gonna need to have the reviews. Now, quick recap. Okay, your main image should be surveyed. You should have an image that is better than your competition, a title that is at least as good or hopefully better. You find something to promote. So in this case, you know, this is a harder one to do because at least it says, hey, Brazilian bikini. Cool. This one says sensitive skin with rose formula. See, I would say this is a fantastic title because it's talking about it's not going to hurt me as much. It's a rose formula. I don't even know really exactly what that means, but Sounds kind of good. The other one is just, okay, it works for all these different things. And at the end, hyperallergenic formula, like that's pretty good, right? When you're starting from new, you're starting a product, okay? This thing, if you're starting and your thing is more expensive, it's not a better deal than the top sellers, why would anyone want to buy your product? Why would anyone want to buy this one pound, one pack? Oh no, but that one looks cool. It's blue. And it has sells 5,000. I wouldn't pick on them. Let me go to another one. But let's say you go, here's one pound, 45. There's, this is a humongous market. It's hard to find on the first page for a really hard product, like a really terrible a terrible listing. These are all pretty decent. But if you go to like probably page, I don't know, let's go to page three. And let's see who's here, right? You have here 2.2 pound, it's $27. Um, like, why would you buy that? When you can get, how much is 2.2 pound? This one's $23. Um, and then let's see the top seller. Where is the, oh, oh, they just changed. It's always a pound, but they just changed the color. Yeah. So let's just do hard wax beads. How much is a two pounder? Um, two pounds, 20, right? And two pounds, 24. So then if you're going to go a two pound and you're selling it for, you know, what? Is this $43? What are you doing? Like what? So the point is, like, nobody's happy with this price either because they have a, a really high price. They probably just don't like it. So you're going to have to ask yourself, what product would you buy? Okay. If you would not buy your own product, why would anybody else buy it? So you want to save money? That's cool. So then you want to have the lowest price on the whole page, promote it. Have a, a the title that's good, the image that's good, the video that shows what it does, and it's cheaper. That could be a reason. Or you're the only one that's in blue. You have it. I don't know, neon something, or yours glows in the dark. I don't know, but something that makes it so people won't want to buy yours. A lot of times at the very beginning, it is going to be price, right? Like that's why this uh, even this person who doesn't they don't advertise the nine ninety nine one that sells eight thousand. Okay, no, they do advertise. Well, they have a $9.99 product. So if you're coming in with a one pounder 
and you're going to try to sell it at $15, right? For a one pound, right? And the top seller is doing it for $9.99. How, why, why do you think, why would anyone want to buy yours? If you, if you can't answer the question, you shouldn't launch the product, okay? Some bonuses, Amazon posts. So it's good to have some Amazon posts for your product because uh, that does boost it. Social media, okay? Launching it to your list, launching on social media, putting some Google ads or other external traffic ads into Amazon as in addition to your regular Amazon traffic. Um, setting up your product to follow up with them. So like some sort of QR code. Uh, follow up emails for reviews. That's vital. Every single time you ever launch a product, your emails need to go out to that Amazon customer as well as getting the review button clicked. So this is just a quick checklist. Now I know I always like sidetrack, but I'm just gonna go through all of them real quick. Make sure your main image is amazing. Make sure the title is amazing. Make sure your price is competitive. Okay, make sure you have all your secondary images and they each communicate something and have a purpose of some sort. Okay, your A plus content should be there. And again, these are where you put all the beauty because people look at it and you should describe why they need the product, what is special about your product, the beauty of it. Okay, video. Ideally, every single product is going to have five videos. How do you get five videos? Okay. Talk to four influencers. A lot of influencers will do a video for just a free product and they're not leaving a review. So totally allowed. Go to, go to an influencer. Hey, we should, ha we have a list actually in our company, but if go to Instagram, find people with 3000 followers, a thousand followers, 10,000 followers, whatever. Hey, would you review my product? No, just a video and record it and send it back to me. You could even upload these videos. Okay. You can upload multiple videos on a listing as a customer or as the seller. So you can even tell them them to post the, the, the video on Amazon themselves. That's allowed as well if it's just a video. So a video that shows a product, number one, but then the influencer or other videos that have more social proof that somebody's actually be happy with that product. Okay. Then your bullet points. Obviously, you're going to have bullet points. I think Amazon even might require it. But is each bullet point communicating something? Does it have a feeling? Is it going to give someone some emotion or something like, wow, this is going to make me feel nice. It's going to make me feel good. Oh, if all the complaints are, it's really hurting my skin and irritates it. Well, talk about how sensitive it is. And of course, how it's going to be very sensitive and very nice and whatever. Of course, the product should be that way. You've, you should have already looked at this stuff and made yours be good in some way. Talk about it. Then the reviews. Always do Vine reviews at the beginning. Um, if you expect the general public is not a good... Um, um, customer for this thing, then you maybe don't want to do it. But otherwise, if you have a general product, like you don't want to sell some specialized, really expensive camera or something and put it on a binary review because some layman person is going to be terrible with the camera and probably give you a better review. So, so again, Amazon posts, uh, why not just put posts of some images that you get? Social media, whatever social media you have, post about it. Hey, this is a new drop. Hey, this is a new thing. Email list, text, I don't know, your friends and family to buy it. Uh, whatever, but promote that thing off of Amazon, send them to Amazon because that will give you a boost at the beginning. And then Google ads is always a great source. Okay. Uh, which I have a whole different training on that. And then following up with the emails, your emails must be turned on to write to that customer, uh, to request a review, see how they're doing. And also it prevents batteries because a lot of times they write and say, Hey, this might've been a problem and you fix it for them. At the end of the day, all those things should get you to answer. Yes, I would buy this product. Okay, you. Now, I if you put your ad right here, you're launching this whatever, wax beads removal thing. If your ad showed up right there and you're one pound and it's $15 and the top guy with 4,000 reviews is $5 less than you and has way more social proof and has the video, how in the world could you say that you would buy your product again, uh, versus theirs? Like, why? Why would you do it? So, point is, that price at the beginning, I tell people, listen, oh, I can't sell it at that price. Okay, well, sell it $5 higher than the top seller, no problem. You're going to have to liquidate that inventory and your business will be gone. So sell it less than the top guy. Like, like that's pretty much almost in every scenario, unless your product is significantly different or better, right? If my thing was like four pounds or something in this case, instead of the one pound, of course, you're not going to sell it cheaper, but your four pounds should be less than their four pounds, okay? Like this one, this guy right here has like a little heart, okay? That's the presentation of the product, but is the actual product any better, any different? They've sold 50 units in the last month. They're already at 400 reviews. So if you look at this one that has 150 reviews, they sold 1,000. This guy has 
three times the reviews, he sold 50. Why? One pack for $22. So it's more expensive than that. And I don't know. Let's look at it. Let's look at what he did on this listing. Okay. No video. Hold on. Oh, he has an enhanced brand content. But this is, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see the videos. Let's see the images. Um, I mean, look at this. This looks extremely cheap. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible image. <laughs> this is horrible as it is. It probably is a paint can. This, so it's funny. Their EBC has like these like touched up, this like f shutter stock. They're trying to put some women in there. Really, it's really crisp. And then their main image is like blurry. That's bizarre. And then look at this text. Oh, it just looks so bad. Remove hair from the deep skin. Okay. Enjoy lasting hardness. Hairless. Sorry, I don't know what this one is saying. Um, and this anyway. So their their images look terrible. Bad. Now again, look at their title. Hair removal wax beads. So again, hair removal. It's kind of painful. Like you don't open up with the hair removal. You wanna you wanna ease into it. You wanna ease into it, right? Like. This one says refill wax beans for hair removal. So just, okay, fine. Like it, it says it a little bit later. I think it's a much better idea. One pound wax beads, uh, beans for hair removal, for sensitive skin. So they say hair removal, but then say sensitive skin. Okay. This one just, boom, hard wax beans with 20 wax sticks. Okay. Facial, leg, back, hair, chest, Brazilian, microwavable wax hair. I don't think you need to talk into that. Chamomile scent. So the other one is like, hey, natural oils, 100%. Essential oil, this, sensitive. And this one's like, it has a scent. I put a scent in there for you, right? Like, I don't, I don't like scents at all, right? So the fact that if it's an, a natural scent, it would be much better. So anyway, you could see if this was your product and you asked yourself the question, hey, would I buy my product? And you told yourself, honestly, yes, I would buy my product. You're lying to yourself. And that's why you're not getting sales. So don't lie to yourself. Uh, find a reason why people would actually want to buy your stuff. And if you answer that correctly and you get that, state by answering all of these different things and reviewing these over and over the main image the title the price secondary images a plus content videos multiple videos all the bullet points your reviews do you have other things sending people to the page because amazon posts also do show up by the way sometimes down here like when you're scrolling they sometimes show up around here so that is part of um the listing as well all right so get to the point where you would want to buy the product and then hopefully the customers agree with that